Rooted in Love show. Life spoken from the roots of those who adapt to reach the sunlight. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. We get our strength from above. We stay rooted. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. We get our strength from above. We stay rooted. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. The Rooted in Love Show, hosted by Mario, Gerald, and Emmett Robinson. Oh my God, my turn. Yeah, you made them gay. Hey, we back on the Rooted in Love Show with the Robinson boys. It's not a story made for camera. Okay, we're going to get right. We're going to get this thing here. We having a good time just ruminating oh, and uh, kind of letting y'all know what the Root of the Love show is all about oh, and, and really how we got to this point. Because we we uh, we put in a lot of work to get yeah, to this point. Yeah, like, yeah, some people yeah, don't yeah. understand. Like, these shirts like you wear, we were selling these shirts two, three years ago. Probably yeah. a lot of people don't know that. And people huh? didn't start buying them until, until we started doing the show. We started talking about it. They started seeing our family. And they, they relate, like, okay, these, this is we, we laugh about that. I had this blue, and I think it might have been the first one we printed. I yeah. wore it out, I worked out in the cut grass. For years. Nobody for ever years. Noticed. And nobody ever, nobody ever thought At about it. At least three years. And, but that's all we talk about a lot, that people have these get-rich-quick ideas. Mm-hmm. And, and we, we, we try to teach y'all that to build a brand. Not just a company, but to build a brand, you got to put some sweat equity in. You got to, you got to take time. Then you can't do it by yourself. Like you got to have a team. Like I tell you, I can't. None of this is possible without y'all. Nobody's self-made. They need to stop telling that story. No, I'm self-made man. I'm I'm made man. I'm self-made. But stop. Yeah, you you got somebody around you. That that was rattling around and he you gotta think you money, up, money don't come out the ground. That's mm-hmm. what I tell you. If money don't come out the ground, you can't mm-hmm. you can't bury a dollar in the yard and go get ten dollars out of trees in a, in a year. Right. So money trickles down. So that means somebody above you is paying you for something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't care what you say. You can say you don't work with nobody. Money, your money got to come from somewhere, yeah. well. mm-hmm. and and that means you can't do it alone. That's what it's. It's a shooting yeah. that simple, but right. <laughs> people they, they want to make it seem like like they did something, but I, I never want to try to I'm not no play the fact that anybody that. anything. Yeah, we, man. I need somebody, need the fellas, need the sisters. We work it's a, together. It's a team effort. Everything we do. What the rules and love show just one of them things that kind of just took off, mm-hmm. and uh, and now I, I just love it. like I always wanted to have something where we li- we it ain't based on celebrities. Like you ain't got to be a yeah. celebrity to have a good yeah. story. That's one of yeah. my favorite parts about it. Everybody got a story. Everybody and usually regular story. people got the best stories. You know, they exactly. just hype it up with celebrities exactly. and all that and add to it. We got regular people. Man, think of, think about the people stories. that we've had on the show. Like, we can recap. Like, we started off with our Uncle Paul, mm-hmm. who had a life that's mm-hmm. in and out of the system. Then the last time, he did a, a 12-year beat. 12, 12 yeah. years. Awesome. And came back out. And, and this man, Still I'm talking, you're talking about one of the hardest beats you can do because it was a sex offender beat. Mm-hmm. So this is somebody that come out now and um, basically reinvented himself, got a good job, got his family, mm-hmm. raising kids, like doing everything he's supposed to do. And I know that's, mm-hmm. that's hard. Mm-hmm. So to have somebody yeah. like that, then you have, we have who's that? Uh, Train was next? Train. Movie uh, stories uh, here. Movie story. talking about yeah. these, this would be wow. movies on their stories. Yeah, yeah. Train, that was a bit more. Train family with a refugee. Yeah. You know, es- escape people, however you want to call escape it. Escape with their family to get to America. Then then became a, uh, a Navy veteran. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, sure, then, you know, yeah. Coach Jerry, yeah, Jerry that's, that's your friend. And we've been friends with him for for a while now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just hearing Jerry Jones' story, just being like, he, I would consider him an NBA hopeful. National right. superstar. I think mean, he was out there weekend hopeful. speaking. Really? I said, oh, man, man yeah. you in your zone now, man. Oh, he, yeah, he was yeah, NBA yeah. hopeful and, and, yeah. and, and got in with the wrong person. Just a simple car ride turned into, what is it, one year? He did one yeah. year fed time. Uh, crashing the career kind and, of. And never really played basketball on that level again, but just kept going, stayed positive, and now he's out giving kids access to their dream. Yeah. 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 Speaking of engagement. Yeah. After the show. Then we had family member Natasha Hirschberger. She on here and she this is somebody that just like came up rough. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about. Didn't what she said she went to ninth grade. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah. after that got in trouble with the law, did some time. Then got in the army, and, and just even now she's in a a, a doctor program. Like it's has, amazing story. It's just ama- amazing people, yeah. amazing stories where you see people go through these trials in life and everything they've been through. You can see now why they, why they yeah. did it. Like I it, think it, these, it. these people like that touch me. Now y'all don't take this the wrong way. 
But it just say, give, give me somebody who you who will call a celebrity. And if I seen him at, at Quick Trip right now, I'd probably look at him and nod my yeah, head like, and be like, what's happening? Yeah, and right, keep moving, because that don't move me like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, and I and I know people, grab, you know, they gravitate to that and they want to be like, and they live this big, lavish life. So I'm going to tell you something, when you get all that, Behind all the lights and all that, you don't really know all the yeah, pain. Yeah, I still want to know you. What they, so it's like, yeah. so we don't know them, but the people that we 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 come in contact with, they've been on the show. Like I went to school with Natasha, but I didn't really know her. I think that was in the I was ninety seven. Yeah. She might have been ninety eight. Yeah. So when I watched the show, I was like, wow, you know, yeah, because right. I I know her and I know about some of the stuff and Coach, you know, me and Coach Jerry been riding for a while, but right. mm-hmm. some of the stuff you and and then like you say when you get people and they talking. A lot of stuff I don't forgot, you know, through high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff I, I, I yeah. forgot about. Uh, some some stuff be painful and you forget about it intentionally. Right. And some of the stuff it just it just get like a blur. Yeah, you gotta think about the significance mm-hmm. of us having Uncle Phil. On our show, like our Uncle Philip, who uh um, like our family list. like grew up special needs and just to have hear him tell how he would go to bed crying at night because people picked on him. But to see this man, this man is almost two years away from retiring from oh, yeah. a good job mm-hmm. now. Hell yeah. Like, job. Who, oh, who, who oh, does that? Exactly. Who, who comes from that type of background and, and goes through that type of just just constant people messing with you, picking on you? And you got to get that out of your mind. You got to get it out of the way just so you can be somebody. Mm-hmm. And, and if you can't learn from that, like, you ain't ready for life. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. like, if he can do it, you gotta, that's one of the people you got to be able to say, if he can do it, yeah, I got no excuse. No, no excuse. I got no excuse. Special Olympics. Man, ain't nobody, ain't nobody talking about it like that. Ain't no, ain't nobody. Not like that. Like no, looking, at, no. looking at us like we ain't supposed to be here and stuff like that. Like, like we got access to whatever we need. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, man. It's like let's let's get it. And I would tell people, and that's another reason the show started. I tell people like if nobody will give it to me, I'm gonna go get it. Yeah, so I remember so I was talking about, about that. Like, hey, when you told me you gonna do a TV show, I'm like we gonna do TV, man. He's like, we just gonna do it. How we gonna do it? I don't know. <laughs> like, gonna do it, right? We don't know. We just talking about, about three years, four years ago. <laughs> we said this, right? like, I'll tell the yeah. story. I, I gave a trusted friend fifteen thousand dollars. That was right. And then right after that, uh, I left. I say I left my job at Home Depot, but I was kind of. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which I, I finished my project when I was on, and, and right. they didn't need me no more. So you talking about going from making a hundred thousand a year to now nothing? Mm-hmm. And I just problem. gave fifteen thousand to invest in this movie, and I'm supposed to get that plus thirty percent back. And now they tell me that now I can't get in touch with nobody. Where the money? The money to this day, the money ain't came back. Mm-hmm. So. And then they telling me that you should be glad because my name is on IMDb.com. Because you're a producer now. You almost made my blood. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, we almost took talk, you know what? talking about something. No. <laughs> because I need, right. need to know yeah. what, it, what yeah. it takes to be a real entrepreneurship. Uh-huh. Yeah. Loss comes with it. Yeah. And if you can't understand the risk or if you're not willing to take the risk, this yeah. ain't for you. Most folks like a lot of people jump in and they say, risk. I want to be an entrepreneur, I want to work for myself. If you can't deal with what I, what I went through, that's small. That's nothing. Yeah. They losing hundreds of thousands. I lost 15. Yeah. And I'm still trying to get it, though. Dad, I told him, yeah, I almost lost my over there. I'm about to go ride over there. But, you know, you, you get some of this story. The guy from yeah. Candyman is in the movie. It's the movie's called Final Wish. Go check it out. But the dude from Candyman is in it. When you say that, I'm already sold, because we grew up watching Candyman yeah. like Tony Todd. That's you know, it. You know it's a hit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so and, um, it just go through all that. I'm listening to social producer, and then it just stops. Money gone. Job gone. Now I gotta rebuild myself. I gotta figure out what to do. I, you talking about coming from a corporate manager and and leading teams? Yeah, I got had teams in California, had teams in India. I'm flying back and forth to different states, and it's just gone one day, you know. And you know, you get a little severance package or whatever, mm-hmm. and and that sets you up. But I decided to use my severance to basically build us. Mm-hmm. Like I figured at my age, this is my one shot to figure out. Okay, if I can invest this money into something that's gonna give me a return, what would I do? And I said, I'm gonna bet on me. I'm gonna bet on my family. Yeah, exactly. and that's when you seen all of us start. We start. Oh we start going to yeah, We start. We start getting all. Uh, we got this super dope fresh trademark. We got the root and the love trademark, and we started doing all that foundational stuff, getting the business license. We didn't even worry about. It. Then we just started doing the hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag root and the love. This is more that super. bottom of the uh, of the iceberg. Stuff. Subscribe to the Rooted in Love show for weekly updates and free giveaways. 
bottom of the uh, of the iceberg stuff that yeah, like, people like, see we're on the tip right now, but we this was it was 2017, oh, it's 2020 yeah. now. Yeah. 2021 yeah. actually. Yeah. So we we was doing a hashtag way back then. So now for eight robbers, take eight robbers. If you run eight robbers and hashtag eight robbers, I remember somebody told me, why are you doing that? Nobody used that hashtag, so nobody's gonna find right. it. People and I was smart enough to say this ain't for today, this was three years from now. When when we run eight run eight robbers now, see if you don't get about twenty four thousand hits on. Them. Yeah, because we've been we just kept using we kept we didn't worry about who else was doing it. Right, mm-hmm. we didn't worry about trying to use the most popular we, hashtag. We're not riding the yeah. waves. That's another yeah. lesson for a lot of folks. You yeah, know, everybody want to ride. That's the waves. what I'm telling you. With loyal yeah. gators, you put that everything you post, put that hashtag, and no, they might even know what it means. Yeah. But five years from now. When they hit that hashtag, how many calls yeah. gonna come yeah, up? When they see mean, it's so, with it, it's gonna mean. So it's it's like that, that's that's another thing. A lot of time when you were a visionary leader, and y'all had to trust me a lot of times. A lot of time I had to trust y'all. I remember you was telling me about Lloyd Legators back Dang. back when it was syndicated. Yeah, yeah, we were doing since two thousand one. Yeah, we've been doing. And I, but I, it wasn't my dream, so I couldn't see it. Yeah. But I trusted you, and I I stuck with you until yeah. we at this point now where you wearing the shirt with the logo on. That's it. Ben, ben is just started. And then, you know, let, let me tell you, the other part of that is when you try to do stuff by yourself, not thinking, I'm like, okay, they in the art, they in the, the drawing on shoes, doing murals, doing web, all this creative stuff. I'm just on calls. Like, it's just calls. Right. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to do my little thing over here because it ain't really as creative. Right. But then as you start talking, you're like, oh, man, that do relate to what you do. Relate. You're like, hey, why don't you just, just start in the business? But I never even thought about doing that right. part. But when you're around, like you say, building your circle, yeah. and you see how your circle but starts. You got your LLC now, too, though. Boom. Yeah, right. Hey, man, we, we hey, the ownership. started it. It's, it's ownership. About ownership. ownership. And it's, it's about not walking around waiting on somebody to give you something and complaining exactly. that somebody won't give you something. We're going to take it. That's what I tell people. And I'm not, when I say take it, I'm not talking about stealing. I'm talking about go build it. Exactly. Yeah, go build. Make, build. make it happen. We go build. I, I I always be proud of all of, all of us with that just being make I it happen. You, I seen you do that with the whole art thing. I remember mm-hmm. you, you was telling us we were with, six, with seven them. years ago that you wanted to be an art teacher. A position would open up and they would get blocked. Another position would open up and they would hire people that you was trained. I had the mentor lady that was uh got hired in front of me uh when when I, I had the, this one uh leader boss that was uh kind of blocking, I don't know why. Right. Like, just purposely not giving me the position. Enough. I remember telling you not to focus on him. I, I remember telling you to work Yeah, I was hot for me. I was around flip his desk. Yeah, you was mad. <laughs> See, that's why you need these people around to kind of balance <laughs> was, it out. Really I, was like, I was gonna get fired. I was gonna flip that dude desk and go ahead and give it to him. Dead yeah, serious, real talk. <laughs> you know, I remember you, know, you, you was getting the, the crazy stuff on your reviews. Just, and I was like, you know what, man, go right around it. And you know what I saw you do? I saw you boost your LinkedIn. You got on LinkedIn. I said, I'm going to do that. And you started posting LinkedIn. You got on Twitter. Start posting to Twitter. You was working in the community. We was already in the community. We was doing mm-hmm. projects with well, the city of Powder Springs. We done did probably the city of Austin, Powder mm-hmm. County. And you start posting this stuff. And guess what you did? You attracted that position to where you, you in that position right now. To the people above them. Went ahead and, and made that happen. And then when I tell people all the time, you, you build what you want. Like you, 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 you attract, you're not, not stopping this. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot of that person. That's a lot of attract. You attract whatever you put out. Yeah, man. Keep whatever energy, energy, positive. whatever energy you put out, that's what energy you gonna get back. That's important. That's so, a, y'all, y'all, y'all sure no sound like a unicorn. No, y'all know <laughs> that don't. That, that's how you know what we talk about is seem seemingly not normal because the majority of people, it's about oh, I don't want to say clout chasing. Or if it ain't that, pulling somebody down to get up or yeah, going around right. or using drama to boost. Like, I would look at, I would, I would really look at one of y'all crazy if y'all posted something just to get something negative. Right. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get a bullet like take that way on that situation. It was in my ear. Man, oh, you all do this, you all do that. I was like, no. no. Man. So we had already talked about it together. Said, so, nope, I got, don't worry about it. So you got to sometimes you let somebody think they the one, do the, whatever the case may be in the situation. And you just stay on the positive path, keep building. Nobody's gonna understand that most people. Like, I tell people all that. We make fun of ourselves when we like, like you just see the post where you show, show your hands, your hands real oh, bad. You didn't have to share that. Yeah, but I, I, that's something we purposely do to let people know we're real, and we yeah. we're not scared for you to see us when we're down exactly. and see us when we up. 
and you get a full picture of what makes them Robinson boys. What you makes know them how, so rooted? You know how many people put lotion on when you put them on? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd take it out yes. But you know what, though? No, when it happened and I, oh, and I got man. to the bank and all, I was embarrassed <laughs> to get out. Right. I was like, would I be embarrassed to go oh, to my man. brother's house? I was like, no, we do this all time. I said, man, I got to tell my brother about this. Right. And it wasn't even a fact of just trying to shame myself or nothing like that. Oh. It was trying to just show my brother, man, look what happened. Right. He ain't going to believe this. Right. And, and you'll be surprised at how many people yeah. can relate. There's a time, uh, I had the one incident where I was getting ready for work. This when I worked at Home Depot. I put my shirt on top of the car. I had a T-shirt because I don't like my shirt to get wrinkled. So a lot of times I would just hang it up and then put it on when I get to the parking deck. I done got all the way to work, and I'm looking around. I left my shirt on top of the car. My shirt, I ain't, I'm at work with a ring, I'm with a raw t-shirt. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a I'm, I'm a manager. I can't go in like this. Oh, yeah, man, so man. I, I got to go. I'm, I'm running, I done ran over the Old Navy. I had to buy a shirt, take the tag off, put it on, go to, man, it was so crazy. Oh, man. Stuff like that had happened, but we shared those moments. I sure don't want to just let people know how real entrepreneurship is. This is yep. not about us posing in front of Lamborghinis no. or, or at, at the hotel where you're paying $1,000 a night. You yeah. know, the hotel you see us that money. Yeah, we no. probably, if we pay two, $200 a night, <laughs> all of us in the same room. End up. You, man, your head might be in the closet in your, in your bed. Your bed don't care like that. I remember that last trip we took. I woke up, I was up on the nice thing. <laughs> we went to uh, Madison, Tennessee. Yeah, man. We was, we was but in we had so much hey, fun. Hey, we was up in that joint. We, we was in hey, down, we downtown, downtown. In the nice hotel. Yeah. Nice hey, hotel. And I'm like, look, y'all go on the elevator and shift. <laughs> <laughs> go free every time. Free people. Up. We gonna wait on y'all to get to the hall. And then we come. We grab wow. my man, thinking I'm gonna go by. Hold on. He said, wait in the car for a minute. Wait, 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 this is something that uh, will go on, and I hope that we leave our kids keep it going on. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so this this is very important. Whatever that, I don't take it lightly. So um, definitely, all positive vibes, man. I, I, man that's that's, that's one of the main things I, I like about it. I, when if anybody would have, if, if a Robinson in, in especially in this area in your hometown, and your name get mentioned, and people want to run away from it or. It's something negative that can be right. said, and if it is, it's something that I don't, if I find out about it, I want to build a, 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 a the mindset. I want to fix it. Right. Exactly. But for the most part, you you, I, I teach that to my kids today. When you, your name is Amazing. worth more than a dollar or a hundred dollars, right. your name means something. Your right. name carry weight right. because if you want to do some business in the area and you ain't the top. You gonna need your name Man. to mean something to somebody. Yeah. You gotta think your name travels before it gets places before you do. Yeah. Just what about what? All the time. What about that mm-hmm. saying when people say, "I don't, I don't care what nobody said about me." Mm-hmm. Your name and your reputation. <laughs> your name and your reputation precedes you. If yeah. you're bad, like I didn't say, perception is everything. Mm-hmm. So they, if nobody ever got to know you, and you hear the name Anthony Robinson, they start going around right. circles. That name's gonna carry whatever actions you've been doing for the past mm-hmm. couple years. Right. So yeah. it, it may go back 12, 20 Wait, years. They'll carry some people yeah. hold that name for oh, a long time. Yeah. Man, that was rough. I remember the, the <laughs> one of the best lessons Pop told me. He's like, I like when people can say, "Well, I used to know you do this, or you used to," but right. I can't give you that. That present, they can't give you that. What you yeah, do is always positive. Change it up, change yeah. it up, and that's that's one thing I want to make sure we continue yeah. to stay positive, continue to, you know, make these shows, invite real people mm-hmm. to talk on the yeah. shows. Real. And not saying that we don't have celebrities on the show. They come. We just we gonna ask you real questions. No, we're not out there looking for celebrities I want just to have a top yeah. name on the show. A real know. person. Yeah, I want to know what you was doing in kindergarten. Yeah. You know. Middle school, like yeah, I, I, I see, sense. I see the movies now. I see whatever you're doing or whatever you're doing, the sports. But mm-hmm. we want to, we really want to get to know people, right? Mm-hmm. And and get to know what makes you who you are. And that's that's really what the Rule of Love show is all yeah. about. It's a platform for us to just share regular people's stories. Most people yeah. be surprised if they hear 
the average person's real story. Like you think you know that person, you think you know a little something oh, about them. But if you sat down and got their whole story, you probably look at most people different. Hey, hey, but if you seen some of these people struggle, way. and you think you we think we don't struggle, story, they yeah. story. that's what I stopped telling people I grew up for. Like I, I, I was all right. I'm all right. You know, yeah. I was all right. Exactly. Some of the stories that I done heard, I was good. I'm Gucci. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Cause I don't, I don't see some stuff and heard some stuff. Like I just couldn't imagine growing up in those situations. So a lot of times those stories are, are to, to give us that type of footing where yeah. we, we look at our parents. We yeah. say, you know, I'm sorry for giving you a hard time. Man, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Like you, you yeah. did everything you could to give us. I a might need to call mom right around. Yeah, I'll do that all the time. That's why I gave some headaches and stuff. But, uh, <laughs> right. So uh, yeah, I'm man. This this the Ruben and Love show. This is what it's all about. And uh, we're going to keep giving y'all real stories. These real people. We stay rooted. Absolutely. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. We get our strength from above. We stay rooted. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. Brought to you by 8 Robinsons TV and Yellow Tough Creative.